hey hi guys in this session we will see how to handle alert pop up in selenium web driver by using java this is the link which we are going to use for handling alert pop up so what we are going to do we have three kind of alert pop up once you will click on this first one alert box this is the simple one so once you will click on it you will get this pop up where you will able to see this ok button so by using accept method you can click on ok button right and second one we have where you will get two buttons one is ok and another one is cancel so by using accept method we can click on ok button and by using dismiss method we can click on cancel button so i will show you in the programming so as of now i am clicking on cancel button and the third one we have where it is asking some input so here it is asking to enter your name so i will write here tester and click on ok button right so here in the output you can see you enter text tester in prompt box right so these three kind of alert pop up we have which we are going to handle it so i will create one class with the name of alert pop up again i will create main method launch chrome browser need to import now we need to maximize driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and then after that we need to use implicit weight driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly weight duration dot of seconds and I provide here 20 seconds now we will launch application driver dot get and here we will pass url this url after that what we need to do so we need to inspect this click me button so first of all we will click on this button then only pop up will appear so i'll click on it so this is the id id is available alert box we can use the id as well so here we can write driver dot find element by dot id and here you can provide the id dot click method we can use just we are going to click on that button right so after clicking on it this pop-up will appear so how we can handle this pop-up we have one syntax driver dot switch to dot alert and for clicking on OK button, we have method that is accept. By using this accept method, we can click on OK button. Means we are accepting the pop-up, right? Accepting the alert pop-up. Right? So let me execute this program. See pop up got appear and in got handle. Now, if you want to see this output, right? You selected alert pop up. If you want to get this output, then we can print this as well.
so here id output is available so we can write here system dot out dot println and here only i'll write driver dot find element by dot id and here i'll provide id that is output dot get text get text method we have so whatever the message we will get it will print here So let me execute once again. It will click on click me button and it got handled, right? So now we can see, see message here, you selected alert pop-up, right? So the first one we have seen, now we can handle the second one, confirm box. The first one is for alert box. I will write here message. This is for alert box and second one is for confirm box where we are going to confirm by clicking OK or cancel button. So again, we will have to click on this click me button. So again, we will have to inspect. So this second one, right? Confirm box. So here also ID available. I will copy this ID and we can write here driver dot find element by dot ID and we can provide ID here and we can use dot click method. Right. So once you will click on it, one, one pop-up will appear. This pop-up will appear and here you will able to see two buttons, right? One is OK and another one is cancel button. But if you want to get this text, this pop-up uh, text, right, then we can get it. So how we can get it? So if you want to perform more than two action, then we can store this in one reference variable, right? And then only we can perform multiple action, right? Here I was performing only one action. We are just clicking on OK button, right? So I have directly used like this driver dot switch to dot alert. And then here only I have used accept method. But if you want to perform multiple action, then you will have to store in one reference variable. So I will write here driver dot switch to dot alert dot alert. And I will store in one reference variable that is confirm box. And return type will be alert only. And I will have to import this. Right. Now, if you want to click on OK button, then we can use here confirm box dot accept method so by using accept method we can click on ok button right so if you want i can show you and for output if you want to see the output as well then we can copy this paste it here right so let me execute once again i will comment this first one and execute the second one, confirm box now. See, that pop-up got handled, right? Here you can see the message, you pressed OK in confirmation pop-up, right? Now, if you want to dismiss right then instead of accept i will comment this instead of accept you can dismiss if you want to click on cancel button dot dismiss method we have right so dismiss method is used for the clicking on cancel button here you can see cancel button we have right so by using this dismiss method you can cancel it right 
So here you cannot inspect, you cannot inspect this pop-up, right? If you want to inspect, then you cannot inspect. Here you will have to handle by using this syntax only driver dot switch to dot alert. Then only you will be able to switch on alert pop-up and then only you can get the text, you can accept, you can dismiss, right? So accept we have seen, now we are going to see dismiss method, right? So I will execute once again. See, it got handled. Now you can see you pressed cancel in confirmation pop-up, right? So we have seen accept method, we have seen dismiss method, and we have seen get text as well. Uh, not here. Here only if you want to get text, then we can see the get text as well. So before clicking on it, If you want to get text of this alert pop-up, see here, press a button is available. If you want to get it, then you can get it here. See, by using this system.out.println. And here only I can write confirm box dot get text. Right? So this press a button, message will print. Let me execute it. So now it is printing the message as well, right? Which is available on alert pop-up. Press a button. So see what we are doing. First of all, we are clicking on that button. Click me button. We are clicking on this button. And after that, we are switching. We are switching on alert pop-up, right? And this syntax we are storing in one reference variable. And this is the return type, right? And if you want to click on OK button, then you can use accept method. If you want to get text of alert pop-up, then you can use this get text method. And if you want to click on cancel button, then you can use dismiss method. And uh, last line is for this output. So whatever the action we are performing, it will printing here, right? So this is how you can handle the confirm box as well right now i will comment this one and now we are going to see prompt box how to handle prompt box so this is the prompt box so once you will click on this then it will ask you to enter your name right so for clicking on that We will have to inspect. We will inspect on this. Click me. So again, ID is available. Prompt box. I will use ID here. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Here we can provide the ID. And now we need to click on that button. So we can use click method. Right? So now after clicking on it, this pop-up will appear right so we need to so once pop-up as soon as pop-up will appear we need to switch on this alert pop-up so how we can switch by using this method right and instead of confirm box we can give the reference variable prompt box driver dot switch to dot alert right so by using this method we can switch into this alert pop-up right and as soon as we switch into that we can we can get text so here we can use system.out.println prompt box dot get text right and after that we can enter some message how we can enter prompt box dot send keys send keys and here you can put the name so name i am going to put tester right so see 
again here we are going to perform multiple action so that is the reason we are storing this syntax in one reference variable so that we can perform multiple action so multiple action what we are performing we are getting the text of alert pop up and after that by using send keys we are entering here name right and after entering either you can click on ok button or you can click on cancel button so first of all i will click on ok button by using accept method right and after that again we can read the output as well right so let me execute this it has clicked on this button and it has entered the text box you can see here you enter text tester in prompt box right and here also you can see in the console output it got the text of alert pop up that is please enter your name and this is the output and output is saying you enter text tester in prompt box so this is how you can handle the alert pop up right so we have seen all of them right if you want to perform multiple action, then you can store in one reference variable like this. So as of now, we have seen accept. Now, if you want to see dismiss as well, then we can, after entering this text, we can dismiss as well. Dot dismiss. Right? We'll click on click me button see it got dismissed here you can see you pressed cancel in prompt box and same thing you can see in the console output as well you pressed cancel in prompt box and this is the text which is available on alert pop-up right so this is how you can handle alert pop-up right these three kind of alert pop-up we have seen right so I hope you understood. Thank you guys for watching this video.